Now let's get into some real talk. It's time for story time, everyone. Why don't we just dive right on in? Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So for this video, I thought we'd do some more Little Hope. Um, I'm trying to remember where we last left off, but uh, basically what's happening is the group is being hunted by it looks like they're alternate people lookalikes doppelgangers from the past and uh what's happening is um looks like they're trying to figure out mary the little girl what she has to do with everything and her involvement and uh, who this other girl um who i'm assuming is megan um has to do with things as well so just trying to sort everything out it's a mass bit of confusion but I recommend you check out all the previous videos um, before you watch this one so you're caught up to speed. All right, why don't we dive right on in to some more Little Hope. All right, we are Angela on the factory grounds. Daniel, where the fuck are you? Answer me. You see Daniel out here? No, he's not here yet. Okay, let's keep going. Daniel will be okay. He'll catch us up. Okay, fine. Daniel, find a way out of the woods. You okay, Daniel? Oh dear. Where it's the fuck has he got so to? So dark. Daniel, please answer me. Stay cool. We'll get him back. I don't know that. Daniel? Where are you, buddy? Andrew! Hey! You guys! I'm up here! Boy, am I happy to see you. At least I'm not the only one damp and disheveled. <sighs> oh my god. I thought I'd lost you. Can't get rid of me that easy. <sighs> Ew. And did you spotted that kid, Mary? Not seen her. Checking things out. This is where we came from. It's all good. I'm just just checking stuff out, everyone. Do you got anything to say? Maybe there's something on the back of this. Nice. We'll try to forget. I just saw this. Okay. Released. Mr. Clark leaving the Little Hope Police Department yesterday. A line has been drawn under the tragic case of the Clark House fire. Onlookers watched as Anthony Clark, the only survivor of the blaze, was released from police. Oh, so he did survive. Thursday afternoon, one onlooker said, The poor boy, he must be going through hell right now. The Herald approached Mr. Clark for comment, but he has not. Whatever. Blamed Clark who was found with a box of matches in his hands at the scene for causing the fire. When Clark left the Little Hope Police Department, passers-by were heard to burn in hell. Okay. So he survived. That's why his tombstone wasn't there in one of the previous videos. Gotcha. You see that? A little girl. Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. 
tiptoe the window. <laughs> oh, it's a No one in Little Hope is safe while you still draw breath, Joseph. You must die today. Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. Damn me if you must. You're not fit. Speaking of my late wife. There is still fight in you. I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. Oh, no one is safe. Oof. Joseph, do you renounce the devil and all his teachings? I got in no sin. I'm no disciple of the devil. I'll tell this infects you in madness. Roy, you but saints, servants. We have to stop this. Help Joseph confront Mary. Let's talk to Mary. Get away. Well, I didn't think you we were attacking that, Mary. See how this poor child is tormented. Joseph still clutches her with the devil's hand. More stones. The devil must be crushed from within him. Do not flinch. The fate of Little Orp rests in your hands. them have been crap ways to die. Do you have a symbol on his, like, chin here? What happened? Tell me. We don't have a lot of time. Time for what? <laughs> oh, gross. I'm tired of running. Are you crazy? We gotta move! Oh, come on. Listen, I'm not waiting for you. Please hurry. Reassuring. John, please hurry! Come on, you fuck! I'm ready! This whole time for this. Get in here. We gotta go. Like now. 
Help me, heroic. Uh, heroic, leave me and go. This thing is only interested in me. Get out of here. Go. I'll hold it back. You can get away. Escape. I did. You don't have to do this. This is stupid. Get out of there. It's gonna die. Is it gone? I don't no. see it anymore. It's gonna come through. Look, get away, get away, get away from the window. Where in God's name are we now? Huh. Okay, good. The place looks like it burned down. <sighs> Something here isn't right. What's new? Nothing here feels right. Okay, we're Andrew in the ruined house now. It's freaking stressful. Oh great, the future. <laughs> the heck? Who the heck is that? That tire swing again. What, 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 can I step away? Like, okay. Oh, okay. This is a showdown. Is this the burnt house? I think this is the burnt house. Okay, we just came from here. All right, all right, all right. Modern Guide to Successful Parenting, Dr. Andreas Vogel, Publishing. Th yeah, this is the burnt down house. Oh, yeah. So Cheney Lady, Haney Lady are here. James and Anne. You're gonna wanna see this. Hmm. Angela and I were married. This makes less and less sense. Okay. Alright. Where else am I going now? Upstairs? Already explored this. Maybe over here. There's way too much happening. Hey. hey. What's gonna be there? Ugh.
There's a key right there. Can I grab the key? No? Okay. I like that was going to be important, but sure, why not? Letter from Reverend Carson. Reverend Leonard Carson, St. David's Church, 71. Dear Anne, thank you for your letter regarding Megan. I understand your concerns and assure you that your daughter's rebellious behavior is not unusual. I've helped Terrence with similar issues and would be happy to help with Megan's more oral guidance. Hebrews 12, 11 says that all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness. Please see me after the service on Sunday so we can arrange time for some personal instruction. Reverend Carson. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So the house is surrounded. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So let's go upstairs. Right. No, I'm not opening the door. Let's go upstairs. I need to know more about the chick. You hear that? I did. Can only be the girl. Let's go find her. She's in here. Stay here. Hey, Bigfoot, find the goddamn vinyl, will ya? Andrew, what are you doing? He knows I was about to confess all to the church. No way. Will you protect me? You must. Wait, this isn't right. No way. I assure all gathered here today that our town will be free of the devil's grasp. Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word on it. This court is hastily convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested little hope, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, oh of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. Mary uses her puppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. We have been deceived by a child, by her guise of innocence. This puppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha, but it has always belonged to Mary and Mary alone. She allowed her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That is not so! Liar! Now this tainted child, this creature of Satan, has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing. Whatever she pulls, do not fall for her little girl act. She may be a child, but there's no doubt she means harm. She's malicious. It was never my intention to bring harm to this town, or its people. Can you not help me? What can I do? If I could do something to stop this, I would, but now in her hour of greatest need, I this child of the damned pleads once more for the Wait. devil's help. I beg the court's indulgence. Please guide me at this time. This Seek your counsel. There's something wrong in this town. Carver is evil. Enraged. We have to stop this. The only madness is right here in this court. Carver, he's the evil one. We have been swayed by malice. The truth hidden from us, but not by Mary. Reverend Carver is the one urging us to believe in the devil. Be silent. This is all You'll his doing. You'll not deceive doing. us any longer. Your true purpose is plain to see. 
I will see this town purged of all evil. He's right. Listen to what he's saying. Carver is to blame. What must I do to bring Little Hawk back into the light? I fear the Reverend and what he's capable of. You have to stop Carver. Destroy the damn doll. Insistent. You have to stop Carver. It's him, don't you get it? He's condemning Mary to take the heat off himself. I know what must be done here. Be still. What is the meaning of this outrage? What I have just learned sickens me to my core. There are serious questions which must be asked of you. How can a man of God conduct himself in such a way? Mary, your suffering is at an end. You are free to leave. Fool! Misled by a child! Do you not see what she is? The truth stares at you from the depths of hell, yet you see nothing! The devil's daughter has deceived you all! Not me! I see her! I see her! Satan's whore! You will pay heavily for your crimes! I was one of the first to fall under your spell. Now all of Little Hope is mesmerized by you! I have not the words. Without you, I would be dead. You saved me. Whew. I shall remember you all my dears. Oh, that's gonna affect this moment here, right now, with Megan and Ben. I can't believe it's finally over. You protected the girl, and you were right about the priest. He was the genuinely evil one. Let's get out of here. Is it that easy? I don't think it's that easy. Tell me what happened. You see the girl, Mary? I think finally. This whole night is over. It. I don't trust it's over. <laughs> I don't think it's over. Please let her be the only one that dies. Oh, I was so close to saving them all. I am so mad. I am so mad. But you know what? If I save the rest, <laughs> I'm sorry, but... In comparison to my other track record with the other game? Oof. I'll take it. Hey! Oh. 
I'm real sorry. I know it wasn't your fault. Both of us been through some real tough time these past years. About half a mile or so, there's a diner with a working phone. You call for help and you leave this place. And don't you ever come back. Ain't nothing left here for you. I'm real sorry for what I've put you all through. Oh, it's the diner where the bus went. We've all had one hell of a rough night. You more than anyone. That's gonna haunt me forever. You're not alone here. Take it easy on We've yourself. We've all been through hell, that, right? We're finally getting out of this hell. You can't blame yourself. <laughs> I just wish we all could have made it. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? Yeah, that's funny. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. Need a clear head. What the hell is going on in there? Get the hell out of here! I'll go once I look you in the eye. Now let me in! Hey! I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Wow. That's it. Game over. <laughs> You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can get a different result. That's the problem with demons. If you don't lay them to rest, they will haunt you forever. Impressive. Almost survived intact. Almost. And you eventually found him. 
the bus driver. Maybe he can now put the past behind him. Until we meet again, maybe in the Arabian desert, maybe somewhere else. But we will meet again, at least one more time. Uh. And there you have it. That was the finale of Little Hope. And uh, I am still in shock. I honestly did not expect that twist ending. Um, sorry, I'm trying to make sure you can see my eyes a bit. Um, yeah, I am shocked by that twist ending. I did not think that was actually going to be how it would end. I didn't think that we were the bus driver or Andrew was the bus driver this whole time. Um, but wow, that is, I, I'm at a loss for words. That was such a well-written story. It was so well done. I enjoyed all of it. I don't know why we lost Taylor in the end. I might go back and play it and figure out how or why, but, uh, I'm honestly extremely proud of myself that in the end I was able to, let's say, redeem all of the, uh, family members except for Taylor or Tabitha or whatever you want to call her but uh yeah and all the actors were phenomenal um for those that might not know so it's a motion capture how they capture uh facial reactions and stuff like that that's why it kind of looks a little off when they're making like faces and stuff like that but it's so well done and a big kudos to Will Porter Putter Powder Poulter Sorry if I'm not saying your name right. Uh, Andrew or Abraham or whatever you want to call him. Anthony. Um, he uh, was phenomenal in it. And you might actually recognize him. He played a, a character in the movie Midsummer, And also he was one of the kids in uh, Meet... Uh, oh my goodness, what's the name of that movie? Where is my phone? It's... Uh, Oh my gosh, what's it called? Hold on. I need to know. Will Poulter. Were the Millers um, with Jason Sudeikis and Jennifer Aniston and Emma Roberts. He was in that as well when he was younger. Really well done game. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I enjoyed the storyline. I enjoyed the storytelling. It had spooks and scares, but it was also action. And uh, they actually came out with another uh, game chapter, we'll say, in the anthology. And it's House of Ashes. And I'd be curious to try that out at some point in the near future. I hope you look forward to that as well. If you enjoyed this video in this series, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below that you enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.